Oh man, no new Tyranids in December. But they're still rumored for January. Hey modelers, um, Gene Steelers have always been one of my favorite uh, Tyranid troops and uh, this is how I'm going to paint mine up for the High Fleet Kraken. So what I've done here is I've taken him off of his regular base, put a couple pieces of cork down and then used a paper clip to pin him to the cork, kind of give him a little more of a dynamic pose. I'm going to take some bone white and airbrush the whole figure. And then take some glory red and start working on the carapace. Yeah, somebody told me at one point that the gene stealers were pretty much worthless in 40k right now. So hopefully uh, this changes with this new codex coming out. Or the rumored new codex coming out. Again, I'm using a thinned uh, paint here, the ratio of about four drops of paint to one drop of water. Just making sure I get good coverage. And that's what we'll have so far. Let it dry. While it's drying, we'll take some of this red tint from Freak Flex, and it's about the same thing as the uh, Minotaur. And I'm going to do all the joints. Something like that. And I'm going to take uh, some of that bloody or gory red and uh, I'm paint his nails. What's a gene stealer to do? I'm going to take some Vallejo Model Air Black, or you can take any black that you have, and go in and uh, do a swipe on the sides. I want to leave a little bit of red on them. Get something like that. We're going to start on our first highlight and we're going to use some of the Vallejo game color orange fire and mix it to a ratio of about one to one. Go through and get all the, the raised areas on this carapace. get something that looks a little like that. Once that's dry we're going to come in with some gold yellow, mix it with some bone white, and start doing the next layer of highlight. And if you mess up here or you get a little bit too much on, just 
just go back in with your red and, and fix it. If you saw the termagant video, um, I said on there several times, if it looks kind of gaudy and kind of crazy now, um, just kind of hang in there. Uh, it'll actually get worse. <laughs> but uh, the dip that we're going to do will kind of bring everything back down a notch. And then you should have something like that. I'm just going to take the escorpina green and paint these muscle vent thingies, whatever, which I haven't figured out what they are yet. I really like how these look with the green. I tried them with yellow and it just didn't look right. something a little like that. I'm going to take some hexed lichen. It's a nice deep purple. I'm going to paint these tentacles. Or feeder tendrils maybe? Is that what they're called? I don't recall. I'm also going to paint the veins that are up above the eye towards the top of the head with this same color. Should get something a little like that. Now we'll take some game color Warlord Purple, mix it down again, then down to about a one to one ratio with water, and come in and do the bottom part of the tendrils. Try to do a little bit of a transition. You get something like that. Finally, we'll take some squid pink and paint up just the ends. I wanted to make the veins stick out a little bit, so I took some of the blue and just dabbed it on there. Take some more of that Freak Flex red tint and uh, go over the, the uh, feeder tendrils, tentacles, wherever they are. Give them a little bit of a red tint. Now, I'll admit this looks like a hot mess right now, but uh, just wait and see. So we've got this Minwax Poly Shade and I actually went out and bought a quart of it. I think I paid about $8. I think you can get it at Walmart. Uh, that's the Antique Walnut. Get yourself a pair of pliers. And grab the miniature down at the bottom. Like so. And give them a dunk. After you've let a little bit of it drain out back into the can, you're going to find yourself a trash can or some newspaper you've rolled out. You're going to flick it a few times to get the, the bulk off. You 
get something like this. This Minwax Poly Shade takes about an average of about six to eight hours to dry. Um, once it's done drying, you're going to take some kind of dull coat and spray it, and you should get something like this. See how the, the, the dip has knocked those colors down a little bit. So we're going to take some Escorpina Green, kind of go back over these vents, and uh, I'm going to paint the eyes as well. You can see. You don't want to obliterate the shading you got from the dip. So uh, just kind of almost, this needs to be almost a dry brushing. You're just touching it up so you can get a little bit of a pop in the color. something a little like that. I'm going to take some bone white. Go back over my highlights again. Kind of bring it up a little bit. You don't have to do these additional highlighting steps. I just feel it brings a little more pop to the model. Again, they're basic troops. Um, probably a little higher up the food chain than your termagants and hormagants and stuff, but um, I'm making mine special. I really like painting these Tyranids. Uh, they're a real fun army to paint. I found it's always a back and forth process with me. I like to um, keep going back to sections that, oh, that just doesn't look quite right. Maybe I'll touch it up a little more with uh, some different colors or maybe I'll fix something you know that just doesn't look right but most of all I am having fun It's a hobby. It's supposed to be relaxing. Should have something a little like this. I'm going to go back to my gold yellow and touch a couple spots up. It just uh, the bone white looks too stark. I'm going to try to soften it up a little bit with some yellow. I'm not trying to totally obliterate the white, but just uh, take it down a little bit. Give it more of a warm color. A little, a little something like that. And get some bloody red. Touch up these tendrils, make them look a little more Kraken esque. Is that a word? Kraken esque? A little more Kraken like? I don't think I thinned the paint down very much with this particular coat. It was pretty much straight out of the bottle. I didn't want it running all over the place. So 
we get something a little like that. I decided I didn't like the stark red, so I went back with a brown and black uh, ink wash and went over the nails again, the claws. Hindsight being 2020, we probably could have gotten away, uh, you know, cut a couple steps out and just painting brown and black. Here's some still shots. I want to thank Dan from Discount Game Store for the models. He's got some really great deals. If you like the video, please like it, uh, subscribe, and uh, leave me some comments. Uh, the next video coming up is going to be about gargoyles. See ya.